Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are inside of Notesnook and if you're new to the channel, this channel is all about productivity apps, mental health and mindful productivity. So if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe and Going forward, uh, a lot of any type videos are coming. I have been working on them today, so stay tuned for that. But today it is Notesnook, and Notesnook is open source and and encrypted, so privacy uh, is really important, as well as the fact that it is open source and open source note-taking apps and in general productivity apps have become mo more and more popular and we are taking a look at this app it is actually quite basic and easy to use it really reminds me of something like Evernote uh, but with a few more features for example the tag feature uh, but basically it is just like Evernote. You can create yourself a notebook. I could call this apps. I could give it a description. I could add topics if I wanted to, and I could just create my, uh, my notebook and I could start adding a note. Let's say I wanted notes nook as a note inside of here and I could just start writing. As you can see, it has some formatting options as well as three different fonts. So you could have a sans serif, a serif or a mono space, whatever that is. Uh, it works with basic markdown as well. You can favorite stuff. You can, as I said, tag things. So there are two forms of uh, organization inside of here. You could tag things or you could uh, use the notebook or I would probably use both of them. Um, Monographs is basically a way to share your notes. You could write a note and share it to someone, share it as they say in a secure and private way. You can add reminders, which is sort of uh, in a beta stage yet. Uh, I would probably use this as a daily task feature to uh, give myself different reminders uh, to get uh, repeated reminders you have to pay for the premium plan I will get into that a little bit later uh, it has a dark mode as well uh, if you wanted to use a dark mode I am sticking with the light mode I prefer light mode for videos I should probably do more light uh, uh, light mode videos inside of any type as well but basically that's all it is. It is a simple note-taking app. Um, you can export things as PDF, Markdown, HTML and text. You could have things to be local only if you wanted to. Uh, as of now it does sync to my... Um, it would sync to my other um, apps or... Yeah, I would say other apps, for example, my mobile app. I am in the web version right now. Uh, it doesn't sync right now because you have to ver verify your email and I haven't done so already. I'm not planning to use this app as my daily note taker. You can link it to notebooks actually, which is quite cool. So you could link a note uh, into your notebook. Um, but can you actually move them into a notebook? It doesn't seem like it. You can have a read-only view. So it has a few uh, functionalities inside of here. But I would say overall that this is a basic... Um, it is a basic note-taking app, quite similar to something like Evernote. So if you're looking for an Evernote alternative that is open source, I would probably recommend you this. Now let's take a look at the pricing. So the subscription upgrade to Pro, let's see how much it does cost. So it costs around uh, $5 each month, 64 Norwegian kroner. So I would say that's around four and a half, five dollars uh, each month, which is quite a good pricing. Uh, so again, I would recommend this 
as a Evernote alternative for people looking for an open source uh looking for an open source note taking app if you have any questions please do leave them down below if you want me to do a more in-depth tutorial leave it down below and i will try to get to it as soon as i can thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you again quite soon